Hi, this is Mark from M Academy, and I'd love to go over a new tool I found for any kind of PHP framework to debug your code. Debugging Magento code typically involves a combination of a few different things. You can use var, dump, and die to echo out output to the screen. You can use xdebug to trace things, or you can write to log files to diagnose what's going on. But each of these items has a disadvantage. So for one, when you are writing output to log files, if you don't already have a constructor within your PHP class, you will need to go ahead and set this up. This bootstrapping for logger interface and logger object is pretty easy, but it adds some complexity to the code, which you may not even need. And also when you write output to log files, you need to actually go and find that output in whatever log file that you specified to write the output to. This could be mixed in with other debugging logic, and it could be really difficult to find the exact item that you are debugging. Calling var, dump, and die can also get a little messy you'll have these code segments sprinkled all over the place, and you can even wind up accidentally committing these code lines to production. This can cause all sorts of security vulnerabilities and concerns on staging and production environments, and it's definitely not what you desire. Xdebug works great, but it could be a big hassle to set up and configure. The workflow for using Xdebug can also slow down your productivity and you need pretty specific knowledge of Xdebug to use that debugging tool. These scenarios are all pretty common in PHP, not just Magento. And a company called Spatty developed an awesome app called Ray, which really simplifies debugging items in PHP. Ray installs pretty simply with Composer, and to use it, you would just call the Ray function and pass whatever you want into this function. And then the output is sent to the Ray software client. And even if you accidentally wind up committing these lines that include calls to Ray, you can actually use this for your benefit and remotely debug these Ray commands with SSH. Ray is really popular with the Laravel community, but there's no reason you can't use it on other PHP frameworks like Magento. Let's take a couple minutes to go over how to install, set it up, and use it in Magento. I have a vanilla install of Magento 2 here, and our first step is to install the Ray package. We can do this with Composer. Let's open up terminal and then type composer require spatty slash ray. On my host machine, Magento is installed with my Docker Magento project. So to run this command, I want to run it within the container. So I will just prefix this with bin slash. If you are just natively running composer on your host machine, you don't need to do this. Let's go ahead and execute this and Composer will pull down the latest version of Ray within our PHP project. Magento's autoloader will automatically pull in functions made available by this Ray package. If you are running Magento on your local host machine, you should be pretty much set at this point, but since I am running Docker, I need an additional configuration file set up to be able to use Ray properly. If we check out Spatty's Ray documentation, we will find an area under configuration for framework agnostic PHP. And this gives us the options available to configure Ray so it can properly connect to our project. The main values we have to set up for Docker are host. Since we are within the Docker and container, Ray doesn't know how to find our host machine. So we will need to update this value. And then remote path and local path. Remote path will be the remote path within our Docker container. And local path will be where our project code is located on our host machine. Let's go to our source code directory of Magento. And we can see that this is the project root. Within here, let's create a ray.php file. This will just be a regular PHP file and within this file, we will just return an array. And this will be an array of key values. The first we need to set up is host, and this will map to Docker's host name, which is host.docker.internal. 
Next, we will define the remote path, which is where Magento is located within the Docker machine. So this will be slash var slash www slash HTML. And finally, we need to define the local path. And this will be where Magento is located on our host machine. My home directory is under slash users slash Mark Schust. And then I put all of my project code within a sites folder. And then within this is the project folder, which is just Magento. And then finally, since all of my source code is within an SRC directory, I will append a slash SRC at the end. And this configuration is pretty much all we need to have the Ray server communicate with the client software. Note that we also don't need to set up any other configuration values within this file, just the ones we are changing. This keeps the file very clean and easy to understand. Let's save this file. And next, we need to make this ray.php file available within the Docker container. So let's go up a directory and open up our docker-compose.dev.yaml file. This file contains all of the volume mappings which map host directories to the Docker container. This is done for performance reasons. So we will go ahead and add another line here that maps slash src slash ray.php into the Docker container at var www.html ray.php. And we will just append a colon cache to set up this cached file system sync. Let's save the file. And after we run bin slash restart, which restarts the Docker containers, we should be pretty much all set. Next, we need to install the Ray client. So go ahead and search for Ray's documentation and then go to the Ray desktop app and download the appropriate app for your system. You can also install it with homebrew with brew install dash dash cask Ray. After this is installed, you should see something like this, which is the Ray client interface. By clicking this icon in the menu bar, we can actually persist this window to stay on top of all other windows, which makes debugging a little easier. Let's go back to our terminal window. And usually you can just start editing the source code, for example, pub index, and go ahead and add a line here. But since we are using Docker, this specific file isn't synced for performance reasons. So we will instead edit this file within the container. Let's go ahead and type bin slash cli vi pub slash index dot php. And you can see we are now within the container. Note that this file auto loads and bootstraps the entire application with this app slash bootstrap dot php file. This is where it auto loads composer packages. So when we call Ray, we need to be sure to put our call to the Ray function after this definition. So after this block, let's go ahead and add a new line here called Ray. Hi there. And then we can save the file. If we then go back to our browser and load magento.test, we will see that outputted to the Ray client. This means everything is configured properly and everything's set up, it works. This output is pretty basic, but we can do more advanced things. Let's go back to our code and go ahead and remove this line that we added. And then near the end underneath app, let's go ahead and call the Ray function and pass in this app variable. And we will also chain on a call to the blue function to categorize this debugging output under a blue category. Now, if we go ahead and save this file, return to our browser window and refresh, we will see that entire app variable output it to the screen and we can actually inspect it in a similar manner to xdebug. And you'll also notice that this entire log is outputted under the blue category. So we can actually filter to only show blue items in our client window. 
This is just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with Ray. So if you come up with something interesting or fun or unique specific to Magento, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. So definitely leave a comment and I'm very excited to see what you can come up with. Until next time, keep coding.